Right, so we are going to try and do some more troop transports. I am not really the best when it comes to flying the Huey. But uh, there's only one way to get better. And uh, we are going to deliver troops to uh, the international airport. And hopefully they will then, from that area, deploy to engage the SAMs near Maritime City. So, prep to take off. Open the gunnery doors so we can not only load the troops, but our gunners have their fire. Troops into our Huey. It's crash one. All right, so let's. Now we have to be even more careful with uh, Chicago. All soldiers, stand by. We are heading to the light. Shooter one Huey. Load of soldiers heading to the light. National. Nice to uh, lay down. At least we got fighter cover, and uh, we got also got a couple of uh, cap fighters in the area, so I don't uh, really... Uh, my HUD radar, sorry. It looks like the nearest one is engaging someone. Is that either of you? That's not my bird. On the ground, we are going to have to go to the hospital. I see green smoke, I say again, I see green smoke. We are going to head over to the green smoke. That is most likely going to be the bike actually. We're gonna find a decent place to unload the troops. And uh, once done, we are going to head to Dubai International in order to um, pick up the troops there. Now, the entire thing here is going to be repetition. I'm going to try and do this as much as I can, just so I get the knack of it. Because that is actually one of the few ways you learn it. You just repeat it over and over and over until it sticks. And uh, I have to say, I really do want to learn to fly the human correctly. I really do want to uh, be an apt helicopter pilot as well. I mean, it, it, it's fun, and with the multi crew coming out, then maybe I can have some people on the guns as well, then I'll make them very, very sick, because my flying is not as sharp as it should be. I'm gonna come in low, close to the international air. And we are also going to disturb a lot of people that happens to be in the city as we speak. Uh, I forgot to disable the, uh, the uh, dots, so you just have to bear with them. Uh, I don't like it, but uh, the thing is I'm usually running with uh, custom-made dots that will simulate how uh, this is better than uh, the 
PC as well. However, they, those doesn't seem to be compatible with uh, the dots on this server. So, um, I'll simply have to make do. And since I always forget to just turn them off before heading on to a hugging server, they'll just be that way. But the nice thing about it is that it's not always easy to... I should inquire about the SAMs. I mean, if the SAM sites are not active, you could actually just drop the troops right on top of them. But I'm really not... I'm not sure that is a wise idea. I mean, you don't want to fly a... I mean... Scratch that. If, if I can take them out without... Um, if I can just fly there... If I just can fly there and nothing else, I'm also going to arm our countermeasures. Uh, if I can fly there, I could just let the door gunners do it. I don't have to waste ground troops to do it. Then again, a combat drop would be fun, but no. We're not in this for the excitement, we're here to ferry troops. If I wanted the excitement, I would have learned to fly the black shot. Speaking of which, I really should be learning to fly the black shark as well, but, you know, I think the Huey is actually the better one. There's a couple more coming down the coast. Ah, crap. I don't know why I can't get my radio to work, by the way. I have it set, I have it set to receive, but for some reason I uh, am unable to transmit. Lost visual on green smoke. Required green smoke. Flying. The tricky thing is going to be finding a decent spot to land and actually landing correctly. If I can do that consistently, then we got ourselves some nice. Yeah. Um, we don't want to get into those electrical wires. ready. Let's have a look. Uh, we're closing in. Uh, the F-18 is... I wonder if we could drop it on the other side of the app, like close to... Not really on the island, but close to it, amongst the buildings. Not really amongst the buildings, but you, you catch my drift. If we deploy on the other side of the buildings, we should be safe from any SAMs that are actually active. And um, we should still get the troops closer than if, say, they would be close to um, the Bay International. Speaking of the Bay International, I think we got that before. One of the plane I see right ahead is the F-18 not. I'm kind of hoping it is. Uh, it could be the F-18 trying to clear out the SAMs. I'm trying to deploy troops to handle. But I've still not decided if I'm going to risk it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that is uh, F-18 heading for the 
exam sites. But I think I'm also, that also means I should be going risking it and going close for a combat drop off of uh, the Grandmothers. However, since I can't actually race anyone on the radio... I am wrong, and that is a hostile airplane, and if so, then we are in trouble. But I can handle trouble. So, I'm gonna risk it. No pain, no gain, right? I'm not going to risk delivering f as close as possible, but I am going to risk deploying close enough. Watch the birds, we don't want a bird strike. I say again, we do not wait to have a bird strike. We're approaching the bicepital here. As far as I can tell, the F-18 is uh, heading up the coast. So yeah, we're going to try and find a... ...decent landing spot on the islands up ahead. It should be just straight ahead, past, past the houses. And if it's not, well... There should be a place Small where problems. we can uh, drop the troops. That said, the enemy has to know we're coming. And uh, my nightmare is that they have more than SAMs in the current area. I sincerely hope that is not the case because I do not wish to handle the play right now. Rather, we can't handle the play. We don't have any rockets, we don't have any... We only have the door gunners, basically, and the door gunners' role is to uh, defend us against mundane threats. The chain guns are good, but... Uh, Like I said, we could drop it off here, but uh, I'm gonna risk it. Well, 
here, here's the thing. The Sams are on that island dead ahead. So if they can't fire, we're already dead. That's going to be the proof of the matter. So we might as well see how how good we can make this. Let's just fly to the other part of the island. We have deployed the troops. We are a little bit on the... Alright, so uh, troops are now moving to handle the SAMs. I just wish we could uh, actually get the radio working on that. So, I'm actually going to check uh, while we're underground and it seems to be safe. Uh, I'm going to check what radio it is. That should be the... Uh, the it doesn't really matter because I'm not... Alright, troops, move out! For some reason it doesn't work... It's SRS that doesn't work, so I'm going to check... Um, radio 1... Radio 2... Radio 2... I can only say that either it's some other radio that, uh, oh, never mind. We got the troops going, we'll just, uh... So let's provide the air support for the troops, eh? We got the troops going, so let's cover for them, right? Stand by. Got at least one target that I have. Move it in. All gunners ready. I think that's a friendly F. around again. Apparently I was uh, a bit slow with uh, giving the permission to fire.
that for the ground troops and uh, we'll try and do another pass on the sand sites just ahead. Good hits, good hits. Keep it up. Radar vehicle, dead ahead. Take it out. It's it fire gunner. Nice one. Alright, we're gonna do one pass over the uh, other side again. And uh, you get the chance to hit him this time. We put the same side out of action, that's for sure. In a Huey. Huey, number one seed machine. Well, to be honest, someone else had disabled their radars. Because I'm fairly certain that these guys were not up to the task of actually firing on us. But, um... Hey, it's still fun, right? It's all fun and games until someone comes in a Huey and blasts you to shit. New speed. Some hits, targets the blaze. Hard to beat by international. Close the door! Close the doors! We're heading on to Dubai International. Stand by and full landing. Once there we will be uh, getting to troops and finding another area where
by International, this is Shooter 1 Huey coming in to land. Tally on the green smoke. Not a bad landing. I mean, the helicopter seems to be fully intact, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, we actually do not need more fuel. We we could check if we could get a couple of more minutes. Request refueling. Request rearming. We'll see if the ground crew can accommodate this. It's not it's not obvious if the ground crew can do that. By the way. Um, but we'll see. Until then, we'll just load more troops. We loaded the troops, and uh, we have actually friendly troops currently heading to take that objective. So I think our next job should be, while we have disabled most of Saab, uh, Sam Bakunin, we should actually fly in and uh, drop more troops there just to, you know clean everything up make sure that the uh, site is not going to be a problem or what do you say Ooh, what to say I've just stated my intentions to the other pilots, so... Alright, prep for combat operations, gunners! We're not getting more weapons, we're not getting more ammo, we are getting troops to deliver. Let's go. Okay, so the target should be straight ahead. At least three smoking targets on island ahead. So we got our paratroopers currently working on the uh, other SAMs. And we also have our door gunners doing their duty task. Guns 
ready. We're coming into a hot zone. Can't uh, exclude the possibility that there are still Iranian loyalists down there. And if so, I want to let them light it up immediately. But I'm gonna have to check the Huey's radio why it doesn't stop for the SRS. And that is. I don't know why. I just don't know why. And uh, that is annoying because I do want to participate in the discussion and uh, do want to participate in uh, the tactics and everything like that. So we're heading in. Target is dead ahead. We are gonna land on the edge of the island there and we are going to uh, drop our precious cargo. Lieutenant, have your troops stand by. wish to have a bird strike. We can see the troops. They are now going to move towards the same sites. That's actually not a bad screenshot right there. But I wish they would actually start moving too. But then again, there might actually not be anything for them to start moving toward. I mean, the troops here have obviously completed their assignment. And uh, it might be that there are no targets for these troops. But hey, then we can actually do this. Uh, it's nice that I can actually test this. Yep, we have extracted the troops. So now we're going to find another area, if there are any close by, where troops are actually needed. Can't actually say. Uh, the closest part to deliver troops is actually pretty far away. So I think we're just gonna take these guys and... Oh fuck, there's something that's firing up there and... That is not a friendly aircraft! But hey, here's the, here's the fun thing about that MiG. That MiG... I'm not going to. I'm not gonna move here. Oh, the F the F-18 ate it. Uh, the thing here, I'm just gonna stay on the ground because that MiG-31 is not dangerous to me while I'm on the ground. It can't actually do anything against me. I'm a bit tempted on trying to just ship troops to Abu Musa, but I think what I will do is I'm gonna. Like I said, I think he's like, I think he's gone. Uh, so what we, what we're gonna do, 
We're going to replace this uh, with something of our own. We're gonna take the troops back to the uh, deployment zone. Tally on the green smoke. And we're gonna pick up an anti-aircraft. Not much, just a couple of guys with a stinger. But they will be... Um, actually, let's all... Well, we, after we've done that, we can actually extract the uh, other troops we flown into this location. So, we're going to be unloading the, the troops at the Dubai International, so they get back there. Then we're going to grab an anti-aircraft crew. And uh, it's not going to be much, but it's going to be a little bit more than uh, we had previously. And we're going to make sure that the Stinger crew uh, is in a interesting position to maybe prevent something like that in the future. And this is why the role of transport pilot is actually a bit interesting to me, because you can make all these decisions, like uh, the, where does, where do you want to place a SAM? And I mean, I'm not really good with sling loading yet, in fact I haven't actually tried it, because I think that I'm sick at it. Uh, but uh, I can still make like decisions about where to place the troops, where to... Uh, everything and stuff like that so um, looks like we actually made it away from the MiG-31 we judged correctly that it wouldn't actually bother with me even after I just went away but sadly it got a Tomcat so going well, but that, that's just me jinxing myself, ain't it? Alright, so we got an anti-aircraft crew on board, and we are... Let's see... I think we could actually deliver it either to this island here, 
or to this island here. Then we need to extract our troops that has completed their mission here. So this is going to be a bit of... Yeah, we got the... Like I said, I, I don't know why I don't get the radio to work in the Huey, but um, I'm gonna take one more look at it if you don't mind. The N51BX radio. Adjust controls. 51. ANA. I'm try I'm trying to see if there's like a pulse radio trigger ICS No, nope, that didn't work ever. And I don't know why it doesn't work, it's so fucking annoying. Uh, it could be wrong, of course. Uh, so I'm, ju I'm just gonna check one more. Switch dialogue, toggle formation. I mean, there should be something like a push to talk button or something like that. And that is what I'm trying to find, because it's uh, actually very annoying to... Uh ...to not have the radio that I would like to have. So, uh, I'm gonna see here, v VHS AM radio. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's nothing here that... UFF's radio. I mean, it's very annoying because. Oh, never mind, I have. That's actually interesting. I'm getting like a communications menu now by p pushing those buttons. So obviously that is, uh, I'm just going to uh, remove those, because they're obviously not supposed to be there. Also, with weapons release for stream switch, those are the AA operators, and those are the camera tools, and it's the set. Everything is like it should be. Alright. We've dallied enough time here. Let's get up there and uh, deliver this the sticker group and extract the troops in contact. We'll deliver the sticking group close to where we had our where we were super, rather we could actually deploy the stinger group close to the current troops but I, I don't think that's a good idea I want the I want the stingers to be a little bit more outwards so to speak so we'll deploy the stingers on the island close to where the destroyed enemy radar battery is and uh, then we move in and we extract friendly troops. Then we bring them back to base and then I think I will be done for the day.
realized I haven't checked my fuel, but I should be good for at least another round. I mean, uh, the first trip to uh, Dubai International did not take too long at all. No, and I mean, I only wasted like 30 fuel or something like 30 percent fuel on that one. So, if the other flights here should have taken me more than 20 percent, so I should be down to like 50. Reporting on the last Sam site in Dubai, but I have I have to say that they're probably gone because uh, I mean my troops in contact did not wish to did not see anything to fire at. And yes, they're they're not really gone on F10, but. Uh, there, there's not really much targets around here. Either way, I'm not really seeing that many active stamp sites here. Well, there's a person here who thinks there's a cheating submarine here. So if that's that is the... Oh fuck, this is gonna be hard landing! No, 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 don't tip over, please. Thank you. <sighs> so, we're going to deploy the roof transport unload. Alright, so the Stinger team is on the ground. Let's go gra grab our troops in contact. Well, they're not in contact anymore. They have completed their mission. difficult because I just lost track of them and I do suspect I have to actually land close to them in order to extract them. Why isn't there anyone on the ground with a smoke grenade? 
sooner when we were on the landing. I mean, god damn it. Okay, let's hope this is close enough. Okay, so, uh, other group transport. Yep, we are. We have completed the assignment here. Uh, we have deployed man pads. We are the extracting troops. And we are gonna take these troops back to Dubai International and then we're done for the day. If I tell you to close the doors, guys, please just close the doors. Door 1 is closed. Oh, come on. Door 1 is closed, door 2 is closed, but it's opening again. For some ungodly reason. Door 2 is closed. Good. I got a tally on the beast bunk. Also got tally on an F-18 on the runway. We did good. Now all we have to do is land this thing. have been dropped back to base we can open the doors to let them out and uh, that will have to be it for now but god damn it that was actually quite nice flying i mean it's really really fun and i think i'm going to be doing a bit more of uh, the uh, troop transport in the future but i'm also going to try and figure out how the hell I am going to work the radio in the Huey, because that is actually a problem, but to sum it, up, to sum it all up, we managed to uh, drop troops in to destroy the remains of a SAM field, we strafed another SAM field, uh, we brought in troops, we brought troops back, we uh, landed, picked up a stinger team, dropped off the stinger team, and uh, there's now... 
run pads here uh, that will be assisting in the defense. There's also a bunch of... Holy fuck, I think there's something in the air that's gonna eat a... A phoenix soon, but I, I can't actually spot it, so... It would be fun if uh, what if my man pads got it, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Either way, that was actually a lot of fun. So, uh, going to be it for now. But I think you can expect more videos on uh, helicopter transportation in the future.